because I had dared to dream. But sometimes life does throw us curves. America today is facing tremendous curves. We need to step up boldly because our nation, our world needs to get back to the foundation that America was founded on. Life throws us curves. We've got to be willing to step in the battery box and keep swinging, not hiding in the clubhouse. We need to be bold about reclaiming this country because this country is the leader of the world. But it takes team. In 1986 on that World Series team, we were down three games to two, two outs, two strikes on four different hitters. It flashed on our Shea Stadium in New York City. Congratulations world champion Boston Red Sox. It was over. But it wasn't. We came back and we won. But I'm going to tell you something that not a lot of people know. Three of our top players on that team we were down to our last pitch, our last out. They were in the clubhouse, undressed, drinking a beer, smoking cigars. One was on the telephone trying to get a flight out that night. He had given up. These three guys were main players on that team. They quit. They weren't willing to stay in the batter's box and keep swinging when the times got tough. It's been 25 years since we won this championship. And they have not yet learned to be a team. It takes all of us together. We overestimate what we can do by ourselves, but we often, so often, underestimate what we can do together as a team. You come together at this convention as a team. But we need to do that. We need to hang with the people of like mind and like spirit. Because there's enough influence out there in the world to distract us from what is most important. I lost a good friend of mine in 1998. He was a pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. His name was Dan Quisenberry. He had a brain tumor. Right, two weeks before he passed, I was together with him at a Barnes and Noble. And as we sat together, I wanted to ask him this one question, and oh, it was a tough one, but if you know me, I'm a catcher, and I'll just speak out. And I said, Dan, I don't know how to say this, but brother, here in the last three or four months, you've gone through so much, and I just, I'm sure you've learned something that I just cannot learn without being in your shoes. Is there anything that you can tell me? And he did not hesitate. He said, Ed, the greatest thing I've learned in this battle is that we all need each other. Ladies and gentlemen, we all need each other. But together as a team, not only is there fellowship, but you share, you learn from each other. You get better, iron sharpens iron. Together, we can do so much more. In America, we have fences on every yard in suburbia. We're so isolated. We don't come together as teams and partners, have relationships. And boy, when life throws us curves, we need that. Because when you strike out 
and you go back to the dugout, and if your teammates are there going, oh man, you stink. The fans are booing for sure, right? There's enough outside influence in this world. You hear the boos every day. I opened the paper this morning. Oh, disgust me. That is not what America is about. We need people like you preparing the troops to go out and make a comeback here in America. Anyone can count the seeds in one apple, but no one can count the apples in just one seed. Are you prepared today to leave out of here and plant the seeds of faith? to inspire others to plant seeds. I don't believe that we can change people's lives. That's up to him. But each and every one of us can plant the seeds and we can water, we can fertilize, and we can nurture those seeds. But we cannot do that sitting in the stand hooting and hollering, booing at every mistake. That's not you. No, you're down in the field, but you can't sit in the dugout. You know, I play with guys sometimes that were, they'd be on the bench and the man would say, hey, grab a bat, I need you to pinch it. Whoop. Me coach. I scared. You can see it in their face. They look good in the uniform and all that, but when it came time to step up to the plate, they didn't have it in here. Don't be like that. Be bold. Be willing to step up to the plate. Go out and build the team. Each and every one of you go out and build the team bigger. Bring that team back here, back to Minneapolis next year. We need to grow this team because it's the bottom of the ninth in America. Score, doubt, despair, apathy, neglect, greed, deceit, contempt, lazy. That's what we're fighting today in America. I want you to go out from here and challenge others. Boldly. Be a catcher, take charge, fear not, go forth and make a difference, keep swinging, it's the bottom of the ninth, just do it.